Hello friends, welcome back to the art room with Mr. Eck. Today we're going to be doing an artwork that shows implied form. So form is any kind of three-dimensional artwork, usually some kind of a sculpture. Implied form is when you draw your art in a way that makes it look like it's three-dimensional, like it's coming up off the page somehow. And we're going to be doing a special Valentine's artwork that shows implied form. So let's get started right now. Alright friends, this is how you make a 3D floating heart for your special valentine. First we need to draw a big beautiful heart. Draw a heart, you start at a point like this and you go up and around and then down to the bottom. You go back to this point and you go up to the right and then meet down at the bottom like this. Okay, that looks good. Now, we need a shadow for our heart. And so to draw a shadow for a heart, you start over here on the left side, about right there. I'm going to draw half a heart. And then just a line that goes up to the heart like that. You know what? I'm going to redo that. I'm going to make it go up a little bit like that. There, that looks better. Now, we need to make a checkerboard pattern for the back of our artwork. If you have a ruler, you're welcome to use a ruler. So you'd like put it up and down like this and draw a line and scoot it over and draw a line. But I know not everybody's going to have a ruler, so I'm going to show you how to do it without a ruler. So I'm going to draw straight lines all the way down my page, and I'm going to try to space them out about evenly. hold my paper down and keep trying to move. If they're not perfectly straight, that is just fine. Just do your best. I'm doing my best and it's not exactly straight. Now when you come to your heart, you're going to want to stop right there. And then pick it back up down here so it looks like the line keeps going. Um, down here you can actually draw through your second heart, that's okay. I'm going to do that. So that's going to be our heart shadow, and sometimes you can see through shadows. One more that way. Ooh, that was not very straight at all. Good thing pencils have erasers. Much better. Next, I'm going to turn my paper like this. Uh, you won't be able to see it all, but I'm going to do um, sideways lines going the other direction. Just making them straight as possible. I'm going to kind of space them out a little bit, and again, don't draw over your heart. One more should do it. Alright, now I've got my Valentine's colors. I've got a pink marker and a red marker. And that should be about all I need as far as colors go. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, anything you've got handy. So I'm going to make a checkerboard pattern, a pink one, behind my heart. So that means every other square is pink. And the ones that aren't pink are white. So I'm going to do this in time lapse so it's super duper fast.
Alright, now that my background's done, I need to color my heart. I'm going to color the whole thing red. Uh, by the way, you're welcome to switch these colors out with anything you want. I just picked some traditional Valentine's colors. Mm -hmm. And to make this thing look a little bit 3D, I'm going to leave a white spot over here on the right side. And that's, that's going to be kind of an oval. And that's where the light is hitting my heart. So let's do that now. Next, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to fill in all of the second heart that we made. That is the, shat the heart shadow. So I'm going to fill that in with pencil and then I'm going to smear it with my fingers to make it look like a soft realistic shadow. And here's my finished 3D heart artwork. I think it looks really cool. I think the pattern of the checkerboards and the, uh, the shadow really helped to make this heart pop off the page. And it's a great example of implied form. And now I can give it to my special Valentine. When you are done with your uh, 3D heart, then you can give it to your special Valentine. I hope you enjoyed making this implied form artwork. And I look forward to seeing you next time in the art room.